counseling micro skills, engaging feelings debrief. In this short video, we talk about our challenges in working with feelings in the counseling session. So Gina, one of the things I noticed as I was um, playing the role of the counselor here was that I had a hard time keeping you in the feeling domain. And I don't know if that's because I wasn't tapping into the right emotions or what was going on there. What was going on there for you? I have a hard time. I have a hard time um, staying in feelings at, as a client. Uh, it was one of my my therapist would ask me, how do you feel about that, Gina? I, I know I need to learn words to share my emotions. So, And as a therapist, counselor, I also need to be cognizant that to stay in that domain with clients because mm -hmm. that's not my most comfortable area. Okay. So maybe that's part of what was going on because I think when we start to talk about um, what we're doing and how we're um, engaging with other people, it's easy to move outside of the feeling domains. So for the learners, um, as they listen to us do that video, um, what tips might we give them for helping people stay within the feeling domain? Actually, I don't have it with me now, but I printed out an emotion wheel. Um, it's, it's called an emotion wheel all over. So mm -hmm. perhaps um, either having it in front of you or be, be familiar with that. So I, I brought it to my office, but otherwise I think that'd be a, a nice way to get um, to know our emotions and have language for it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that kind of thing is useful for both the client and the counselor. So if you're working with a client who struggles with emotion, then bringing in that kind of a tool that allows them to play around with different emotions and see how they fit or don't fit. Um, and also as a therapist, practicing those emotion words will make it easier to come up with them uh, when you're feeling kind of stuck about how to focus in on emotion. Well, that's why it's at my office because I use it in, in session mm -hmm. and um, I, sh and, um, I don't have one here, but if, it, if I'm doing a session on Zoom, then I can just share a screen. But mm -hmm. that's why it's, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. I, I think it's so helpful. Just the other day, the client said, oh, I feel she had way more words, frustrated, distressed, um, disgusted, mm -hmm. uh, annoyed. And she wouldn't have those words right then, there and ready without that, the wheel, she said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And I think we also have to recognize that these conversations are a little bit artificial, as will the lab practice be. And so... Um, as the client, it's good to kind of work on those emotion expressions so that the other person has a chance to practice emotion and, and recognize that if you and I were ha having a, an actual counseling session, I may not in that moment have stayed with emotion. I may have followed your lead a little bit in terms of going more into the meaning you were making out of um, this role that you had and trying to um, make things better for your kids, etc. So um, mm -hmm. these practice sessions are always going to be a little bit um, not forced, but um, they're going to require us to practice um, the skills so that we become competent with them and not necessarily always be following the lead we might naturally go down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.